Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. In this video, we are going to show you three steps that you must know in Argentine tango. If you are starting to dance tango now, you must learn these three steps. Yes, because if you go to the milongas, they are going to use these figures. And which one are the figures? We are going to be using the basic step. Of course, you must master the basic step because it will be the base of any steps you do in Argentine tango. Then we are using the ocho cortado. Ocho means figure eight. And we are going to show you this very basic and beautiful figure. That one, you will end up using it a lot in social dancing. Another one that we are going to be using is the hero. We are going to use a simple hero for you to start learning and you will discover that is so much fun. Hero means turns, so it will be a figure rotating, making a turn. So you can use that for navigation too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now before we go to the dance floor, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell for notification. And at the end, if you like what you saw and it was helpful, make sure to put a thumbs up. That will be very much appreciated. Let's go to the video. <laughs> Hello, here we are. We are going to show you first the first figure that we were talking about, and it is called basic step. Okay, let's start. Yes. So we are going to go to the corner, embrace, and this is the basic step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ready to start all over again. On the side, in this case, you can repeat it. That will be number one mm -hmm. over time. Let us show you from the other side how this will look. We are doing a side step for both. Side step, leader will walk on her right side, so it means outside. We walk with the right two steps. And at this moment, right before the cruzada, leader will have a little bit of diagonal position to get into the cruzada to fit together. Cruzada for her, fit together for him. She changes body weight, forward, side, and fit together to close the step. One step extra to start all over again. Be sure to do the step number eight, which is mm -hmm. going back for the leader, front for the follower, very small, tiny, because usually, this step is against the line of dance. Yes. So we should do it very smooth and watching that nobody's in your back. <laughs> Something to clarify, starting with number one, it is correct, like we are showing you now. Also, something that is also correct is starting with the right back one and two, but in our style, we prefer to start to the side. Okay, some tips on this one. They the main goal on this video is to show you three basic steps, three main steps that you should know when you are going to do tango argentino, argentine tango on the dance floor. So not going deep on the technique, but let's review this one more time. Yes, absolutely. So this is the basic step. Embrace. We do a step together to the side. Now, leader on the second step is walking on the right side of the follower. On the step, this is three. On the step number four, followers, it's our rule to go to the cross, to the cruzada. We call it cruzada. Without any lead, if the leader is walking on our right side, I have to go to the cross. I have to cross with my left leg in front of the right. Keep it on the level. Now he will change body weight for us, so we use the right leg back to go to the last part. We call it resolution, cierre. Last part of the step, side and feet together for the little tiny step back for the leader, front for the follower, and side step. Yes, so that's, that's correct. the main rule you should know, follower, when the leader walk on our right side. On the step number four, we're going to the cross. Now, step number two, we're going to be doing an ocho cortado. Let us show you how this will look. First of all, we'll do it in a regular speed first. Pam, quick, quick, slow, pam, quick, quick, slow, front, side, feet together. And again, we can take the small step, ready to start all over again with number one to the side. Let's show on the other angle. Absolutely. 
this way so you can pay attention on the embrace, how it works on the left side for her, right side for the leader. So we do a side step and rock step. Front step for follower, rock step side for the follower going to the cross, cruzada, and resolution back side and together. A little step to connect and start all over again. Mm -hmm. So that was mostly followers. Yes. Can we do it again and do it Abs for the leaders on Absolutely. this? Absolutely. With this angle? Yes, and something you will notice is that with rock steps, rebounds, in this case, rebotes. Um, we are doing rebotes in this figure and it has to be elastic, yes? So let us show you and you will see the elastic very clear here. One, two, you will see the elastic now. Once and come back, yes? So basically we keep going from here and we are going to do the same elastic again here. To the side and come back. I was bringing her back to the cruzada from my left pulling my left arm. Change body weight, front with the left, side and feet together to do a small step, side step. This small step at the very end has to be lifting. If you do it without lifting, she may take a big step and we crash with somebody else on the back, especially if we are dancing in a social dancing, which is called milonga. Let's do this ocho cortado one more time sure. on regular speed so you can see when we are syncopating. So we go, Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 and all over again. Very, very good. Good. <laughs> so now we have another figure that is called Hero, and it'll be a simple Hero to the open side of the embrace, which is left for him, right for her. Hero is a turn. So in this figure, we are going to move around, spin around, follow her will be walking around the leader. Leaders want to keep the axis, the center. Yes, and probably if you don't know, we are going to do the complete figure is called Hero. Her step going around the leader is called Molinete, just for you to know that. So let us show you. <laughs> we are doing side change to quick, quick, slow, lifting front, side feet together to change, zoom, and side to start all over again. That is called hero to the left. So my steps walking around the leader, back, side, front, side, this is called molinete. Mm -hmm. Now let's start from the other corner. Sure, absolutely. Yes. So we go side. I'm entering after the little angle pivot. I'm entering into back, side, front. This is my Molinette step, waiting for the leader and resolution, back, side, feet together and little connection step to the next one. If you notice, before we go for the technique for the leaders, it is very important that you do a beginning and an ending to the figure always whenever you're studying. Later, when you get more advanced and more intricate step, maybe you can skip salidas and you can skip the sierras, which are called resolution. Um, but at the beginning, if you're starting to dance tango, make sure to always initiate the figure and then have a proper closing. So in this case, all three cases that we are doing have a side step to the side to initiate and a closing, which is left for him, side and feet together. Let us do this one more time. Beginning, side step. Leaders, we are going to do the hero. I'm tapping and maintaining my body weight on the left while I'm pivoting, opening a door for her, opening, and at the very end, once I'm with this association, I will take a tiny step close to her. Did you notice that I'm almost stepping between her legs? So this is just to get close to her, lift her, and she's in axis. Now I'm on my right leg. And what I was mentioning, all the figures will have a cierre, a resolution, which is this, step front, side, feet together, and small steps just to restart and begin the figure once again. Be sure for followers to follow the torso of mm -hmm. the leader. Upper body shoulders of the leader will give you the speed for the hero. How do I know when I have to go fast or slow? 
of course, we both follow in the music, but mm -hmm. the music can interpret the musicality can be different depending on your taste or the navigation or what the leader has in mind. So in this case, followers, our speed to walk around is coming from the upper body, from the leader. And this is how we step. For example, if we want to do the hero yes. very slow without using the syncopation, in this case, same figure, but we go very slow from the upper body. I feel like he's leading to walk one side, feet together, front, feet together, and resolution all on the beat without syncopation. So there is this option to go very slow or to go faster. I will not go by myself mm. faster or slow. I have to follow the upper body of the leader and he's listening to the music. So he's creating the step. This is how we know. Let us show you one more time from this side with a real speed how this will look. And we are doing beginning salida, tap, quick, quick, slow, lifting, resolution front, side feet together, small step to reset, and side number one, if we want to do it again, all over again. So if you want to know more about this, we are going to put links in the description below where you can find more YouTube videos and playlists with all the fundamentals of tango and also basic steps. So now we are going to give you the option, one of the options to put it together, the three basic steps, three figures, how it will look if we put it all together. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Yes. So we're we going to start from basic step. Basic step. Salida, walking into the cruzada. Now, instead of resolution, we go to ocho cortado directly. Rock and back, rock and cruzada. Now we can resolve. So we can start the giro. Rotation, turn. Pam, pam, pam. Lifting and now, yes, a proper cierre or resolution. That was a beautiful way to put it together. You can follow this or you can make it another mm. way to put it together. But try to watch the video from the very beginning so you can see all the details of basic step, ocho cortado, and giro. If you are serious in learning Argentine tango, make sure to check out our website, Medium Leonardo Tango, where we have videos from fundamental, very principal technique in tango to a very advanced technique. So you really master your tango journey. Yeah, you can see that on MiriamLeonardoTango.com online tango training. This is our tango school. Okay, remember if you enjoy the videos, like and share with your friends. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.